यू मे हैव सीन स्टीम कमिंग आउट ऑफ ए प्रेशर कुकर आफ्टर हीटिंग वाटर फॉर सम टाइम और स्टीम कमिंग आउट ऑफ ए स्टीम इंजन वन थिंग विच इज़ कॉमन इन बोथ दिस एप्लीकेशन इज प्रेशर हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग स्ट्रीम लाइन सो टूडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ प्रेशर वर्क प्रेशर इज मैथमेटिकली रिटर्न एज फोर्स डिवाइड बाई एरिया लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड इट बाई एन एग्जाम्पल A submarine is moving inside an ocean. Although it looks like that the water around the submarine seems to be doing nothing, but in reality the molecules of water are continuously colliding with the surface of the submarine and applying some force on it. So the force acting normal to the surface divided by the surface area of the submarine will give the pressure applied by the ocean water on the submarine. Pressure term is used only for liquids and gases. A term similar to pressure used for solids is normal stress. If we take a knife and cut a potato, the force applied by the knife edge normal to the potato surface divided by the surface area of potato in contact with the knife edge will give us the normal stress. The SI unit of pressure is pascal or newton per meter square but there are other units also which are used in different applications like atmospheric pressure is measured in units of bar and atmosphere pressure in tires is measured in psi which is pounds per square inch another unit is kg per centimeter square used in industries in different flow meters and finally millimeter of mercury which is used in blood pressure measuring device and barometers when you measure the air pressure in a car tire it shows 32 psi which pressure is this gauge pressure absolute pressure atmospheric pressure or vacuum pressure let's understand these terms at absolute vacuum the pressure is zero The pressure of the atmosphere above absolute vacuum is known as atmospheric pressure. The pressure from absolute vacuum to a pressure above atmospheric pressure is known as absolute pressure. If we subtract atmospheric pressure from absolute pressure, we get the gauge pressure. If the absolute pressure is below atmospheric pressure, then the pressure value just below the atmospheric pressure is known as vacuum pressure so in the air pressure reading of a tire 32 psi is actually the gauge pressure if the atmospheric pressure is 14.3 psi then the absolute pressure is 46.3 psi is pressure a scalar or a vector quantity since force is a vector quantity it gives an impression that pressure is also a vector quantity but pressure is a scalar quantity for a fluid at rest pressure at a point is equal in all directions let's demonstrate this mathematically consider a small wedge shaped fluid element having length delta x in x direction delta z in z direction and b in y direction now let pressure px pz and pn acting normal to fluid element since we are considering pressure on the fluid element is equal in all directions summation of all the forces in x and z direction should be zero the forces acting in x direction is px into area b delta z minus bc which is the component of pn in x direction from triangle abc sin theta is equal to bc by pn so bc is equal to pn sin theta the forces acting in z direction is pz into area b delta x minus ab which is the component of pn in z direction minus pressure due to the weight of the fluid element mg from triangle abc cos theta is equal to ab by pn ab is equal to pn cos theta the mass of the fluid element is given by density into volume 
now delta z can be further written as delta s sin theta replacing delta z we get px equal to pn let's see forces in z direction here delta x can be replaced by delta s cos theta from this we get pz equal to pn plus a component due to the weight of the fluid element now for the fluid element to be a point delta z must tend to zero from this we get pz equal to pn we can see that all the pressures are equal from this we conclude pressure at any point in a fluid is same in all the directions another conclusion is that pressure in a fluid at rest does not change in the horizontal direction we saw pressure in a fluid at rest does not change in the horizontal direction but it varies along the depth now instead of a wedge shaped element if we take a rectangular element the expression becomes pz equal to pn plus rho g delta z this becomes an expression of the type y is equal to mx plus c so pressure varies linearly along the depth so if we have a point p at a depth h from the water surface then the pressure at this point is p atmosphere plus rho g h where rho g h is the gauge pressure let's take a container filled with water and attach three pressure gauges displaying pressures at different heights now if we apply a pressure of 5 units normal to the water surface you will see the pressure increases by 5 units in each gauge reading this is called pascal's law it states that when there is an increase in pressure at any point in a confined fluid there is an equal increase at every other point in the container let's look at an application of pascal's law which is hydraulic lift it consists of two cylinders of different areas filled with a liquid up to the same height and connected to each other when pressure is applied on the liquid in cylinder 1 this pressure gets transferred to the cylinder 2 and it lifts the vehicle so here the larger cylinder is used to exert a proportionally greater force than that applied to a smaller one so here p1 is equal to p2 since initially liquids were at the same level in both the cylinders so f1 by a1 can be written equal to f2 by a2 on rearranging we get the following equation using this we can calculate the amount of force applied on the fluid inside the bigger cylinder if a2 by a1 is say 10 and we apply 100 newton of force on the fluid inside cylinder 1 we get 1000 newton force on the fluid inside the bigger cylinder so by applying very less force still we can lift big objects inside our kitchen we see when the pressure inside the cooker is very high it is released through the pet cock automatically but how do we know when designing the pet cock what should be the pet cock weight so that the pressure is released automatically when the pressure inside the cooker is very high let's say the gauge pressure up to which the cooker can work is 100 kPa and the atmospheric pressure is 101 kPa the area of pet cock is 4 mm square the pet cock should move upwards only when the pressure inside the cooker is greater than the pressure applied by the pet cock so we can say up to pressure inside cooker equal to the pressure due to pet cock weight the pet cock will remain closed further we can write pressure due to the pet cock weight as mg by a on rearranging and putting the values we get the pet cock weight equal to 40.77 g so if we take a pet cock whose weight is less than this the pressure will be released early and if we take a pet cock whose weight is higher then the pressure cooker will not release the pressure and may blast off i hope you like this explanation kindly like and subscribe and keep looking for more videos